Hello guys, Ivan here. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and use the new update of the Substance Designer Machine Porter, as well as some of its improvements. So let's get started. First, download the version 2.00 or greater from Gumroad and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Show SD Mesh. Copy it and paste it in the Substance Designer plugins path, usually located in your documents, Algorithmic, Substance Designer, Python, SD User plugins. Then let's open Designer. And to verify it is working, go to Tools, Plugin Manager. You should be able to see the plugin enabled. If it is not enabled, just click the checkbox. You should also be able to see any window called Shalotl Machine Porter. If it is not visible, go to Windows and enable it as well. Now it's time to see the plugin in action. As with previous versions, you need Blender in order to use the plugin. But this time, it is easier to use and it supports the latest Blender versions. That way, we can take advantage of all the new rendering performance improvements of Cycles. You just need to select the version of Blender, and the default path to the installation will be filled automatically. If by any chance you have a custom installation, you can just select it manually. And this needs to be done only the first time you use the plugin. Then we have a type field with two options. 3D Mesh, which will create a mesh node that you can use in any of your graphs. and single images that will just import one or multiple images of a mesh in some specific rotations, without creating a specific mesh node. Then we have the mesh field, in which you can select OBJs or FBX files as inputs. We need to take into account that the higher the polling count, the better results we're going to get, but also the slower the render times. Next we have the output path. By default, it will export the images to the same location of the mesh file, but you can choose a different folder if you want to and you can click the arrow button to quickly fill the value with the default export path. Then we have the name. Here we write the name we want to give to the node and the images we create. Again, you can click the arrow if you want to use the mesh file name as the default value. Then we have the base size of the images. Remember, the bigger the image, the more the detail, but also the slower the process. So it's a good idea to select something based on the planned output. And finally, we have a UV map checkbox. Enable it if you want to also generate a UV map and not only the height map of the mesh, and use it to project textures into the mesh, like you can see here. Now let's do both import types from scratch. First we select the Blender version, I select 2.91, then we select 3D Mesh, then we'll select a mesh and select the cactus, Set the default output path with the arrow, the default name as well with the arrow, and let's leave the size as 1K. Let's enable the UV maps and finally click import. And the process will start. Again, the speed of this process depends fully on your hardware, the poly count, and the output size you select. After the process finishes, we have a 3D mesh node. But currently, there is a bug in Substance Designer, so in order to make it work as expected, we need to open the node, go to the parameters, and here we change the value from slider to position, and change the value of the default a little. Now, if we go back to the main graph and select the node, everything is working as expected. Let's use the UV mapper to project the textures and connect it to the outputs. and we have the asset.
Now let's check the single image options. Let's select a different image. In this case, I'll select the hydrant. Again, the default output path and the default name. Let's leave the size as 1K again. Let's remove the UVs in this case. And now let's check the new rotation field. Here we can set multiple values separated by commas. For example, we can set 000, 180, 0180000, We click import again. And we'll get four images, each one with the specified rotation. Well, that's all for now. Hope you guys like the new update and see you next time. Good luck.